Hi, I'm Jesse Sage and thanks for watching This Old Thing. I'm here this weekend at the Playlist Live Conference in Orlando, and I was actually born not far from here at the Florida Hospital here in Orlando. So I wanted to share some old pictures I found of the town with you all since I used to live here and show you what it used to look like back before Disney came in or Universal Studios or all the development and all the movies and everything that were made here. Orlando, Florida today is full of theme parks, hotels, events, and putt-putt golf caves in the shape of alligators. Back in 1885, this was the sort of interaction people had with alligators. It wasn't all swamp life, however. They did have an opera house in 1891. Seen here is the National Orange Picking Contest of 1950. Orlando is the county seat of Orange County, so as you can see, they take their oranges very seriously. It used to be called Mosquito County before the Civil War, but apparently they reconsidered the wisdom of that name. My favorite part of the contest is the free orange juice served by these beautiful ladies. In 1965, Walt Disney announced his plans to build Disney World in Orlando, and since then, theme parks have been a huge part of the city. SeaWorld opened its doors here in 1973. See the little Shamu sign? You may have heard the legend that Cinderella's Castle at Walt Disney World, seen here in 1971, can be taken apart and moved in the event of a hurricane. Can you imagine seeing that going down the highway? There's also a legend that Walt Disney is cryogenically frozen somewhere inside the depths of the castle. I guess we'll have to wait to find out whether or not that one's true, but as far as hurricanes go, the castle was designed to withstand hurricane force winds and, of course, still stands today as an icon for both Disney and the city of Orlando. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future episodes. My dress was designed by On the Trashy Side Clothing Company, which is based out of Sarasota, and they make lots of great, really fun, retro-style clothing. I love this dress for today, and I've gotten so many compliments on it. Other than the monster print, of course, my favorite part is this little bow in the back. It's super cute, and it's attached with a little snap. All of her clothes have really nice little details like this that just make it a little extra special.